Welcome. All right, so in this case, what I have is zeros is negative 7i, 1, and 3 halves. Now again, what I need to do when I notice that I have a i or even a uh, radical, I need to make sure I comp um, use the complex conjugate. So therefore, if negative 7i is a 0, that means also that positive 7i is a 0. So therefore, now what I need to do is set each one of my factors equal to 0. So therefore, I have x um, equals negative, or set each of my factors equal to x, then I'll set them equal to 0. So x equals negative 7i, x equals 1, x equals 3 halves, and x equals positive 7i. Now I set them equal to 0. So in this case, I'll add 7i. So I have x plus 7i equals 0. Subtract 1, subtract 1. x minus 1 equals 0. Here, again, remember when you have a fraction, use inverse operations. So multiply by 2, then subtract 3. So therefore, I have 2x minus 3 equals 0. Because again, if you just subtract the 3 halves, then you're going to have a factor with a fraction in it. And we want to find a polynomial that does not have a fraction um, as, its, as its coefficients. And here, subtract 7i, subtract 7i. So x minus 7i equals 0. Now, obviously, I'm going to want to rewrite these together. Um, but now, by reversing my zero product property, I can write these as the product of their factors. So therefore, I'm going to put, again, the x, x plus 7i, x minus 7i together. So x plus 7i times x minus 7i times 2x minus 3 times 2 or x minus 1 equals 0. All right, so if, again, if we were working this problem backwards, you could see that working this up, that is how I'd solve it by starting off with my zero product property. But we're working the problem down. And we don't want to find the zeros. We know the zeros. We want to find the function. So when you have uh, four binomials multiplied by each other, don't get overwhelmed. Just work at it you know, one step at a time. So what I'll do is I'll multiply these first. Then I'll multiply these two. Then I'll multiply them together. Now, what's important about when you have a a complex number and its conjugate, when you multiply them, that's going to produce the difference of two squares. Therefore, when I have x plus 7i times x minus 7i, again, you can multiply these all out by using FOIL. But again, if you just multiply your first two terms, what you get is x squared minus, uh, what you get is x squared minus, sorry, 49i squared. But remember, i squared, we can rewrite as negative 1. Negative 1 times uh, 40, and negative 49 is x squared plus 49. So therefore, this turns into x squared plus 49. And then here, I have to multiply these out. Um, and I, to kind of keep the video a little bit short, I'm going to do this kind of in my head. 2x times x is going to be 2x squared. <coughs> negative 3 times negative 1 is going to be a positive 3. So then I multiply the last two. And then when you're multiplying two binomials, what you simply want to do, since I know that these two terms are both going to have a variable factor of x, I'm going to multiply them and then add them in my head. So negative 3 times x is negative 3x. 2x times negative 1 is a negative 2x. Therefore, that's going to produce negative 5x. But now in this case, I have a binomial times a trinomial. Um, so whew, what do I want to do for this one? Um, Hmm, which way should I do it? Let's do the box method. I like the box method. It's nice and quick, it's easy, and it's organized. So when you have a binomial times a trinomial, uh, one of my favorite methods is just to complete the box. So if you have a binomial on the side, create two rows. If you have a trinomial on the top, create three columns. Then to represent uh, multiplying, we're going to find the product of, our, of each one of these areas. Or we're going to find the area of each one of these squares. So we're going to multiply. Um, our length and our width. x squared times 2x squared is 2x to the fourth. x squared times negative 5 is negative 10x cubed. x squared times 3 is a positive 3x squared. 2x squared times uh, 49, that's going to be 98x uh, squared. 98, so then, so then negative 5. I didn't think about this one when I was doing my work, so I guess I could, I'll just do an old style method. I could probably figure this out in my head, but you know, what's What's the point? If you guys always remember, if you don't have a calculator, you know you can figure, do things in your head. But you also just go back to you know the previous stuff you guys learned um, back in the day. So negative five. Well, anyways, we know that's a positive, right? All right. So this is going to produce a negative number, anyways. So it's, it's five times nine is five forty. Five times four is twenty, so it's twenty-four. So it's two hundred forty-five. Ninety-eight times ninety-eight, um, ninety would be one hundred eighty. Would have been one hundred ninety-six. Yes, that would have worked. Okay. So therefore, and that's going to be x. So it'd be since that's a negative and that's a positive, it's going to actually be a negative 245x. And then 49 times 3. Well, 49 times um, 
49 times 2 is going to be 198. So then plus another 40 would be 138, plus 9 would be 147. One forty-seven, and that's going to be your polynomial. Now I see which terms I can combine. I can combine these two terms. Those are my x squared. That is x squared. That should not be x squared. That should be x cubed. These two terms you can combine, and nothing else is going to multiply to give me an x cubed. Okay, so that's so only my x squareds are my only two terms that I can multiply. Um, that will give me that, or my x squareds, and that will be correct. So now let's go ahead and um, now let's go and combine them up. So now, again, this product is going to equal f of x. So now I can combine these two. That, and Well, let's just work on the highest degree. So I'll rewrite the f of x first. So f of x equals 2x to the fourth. Then my x cubed is negative 10x cubed. Now 98x squared plus 3x squared is going to be 101 x squared minus 245x plus 147. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is going to be our lovely polynomial when we have the zeros of negative 7i, 1, and 3 halves. Thanks.